Hi there, Phil Lord here from Mitsubishi Electric and I'm here today to talk to you about the spirit of the FCAS regs and why it's so important to our industry. And I'm going to start by drawing some bubbles. My first bubble is a representation of the UK market using R410A and I'm going to assume 1 million tonnes of refrigerant out in hermetically sealed systems in the market. I'm also going to assume a 1% leakage rate which gives me 10,000 tonnes of R410A being released into the atmosphere. Now the story doesn't stop there because R410A has a global warming potential of 2,088. I have to multiply the two together to get the CO2 equivalent that's being released, which is 20.8 million tonnes of CO2. Now, the first round of F-gas was aimed at containment. Keeping the refrigerant in hermetically sealed systems with zero leakage is the perfect application of a direct expansion system. However, due to unforeseen circumstances on sites, leakage due to service, maintenance, end of life reclaim, the leakage rate was deemed too high, which is why we're now partway through the second round of F-gas, which is the phase down of HFCs. So I'm going to draw another bubble. This bubble is again a representation of the UK market. One million tonnes of refrigerant, however, I'm using R32. Assume the same leakage rate for a level playing field and I've got 10,000 tonnes of R32 being released into the atmosphere. However, R32 has a global warming potential of 675. By multiplying the two together, the CO2 equivalent is reduced to 6.75 million tonnes of CO2 equivalent. And this is the spirit of the F-gas regs. By reducing the availability of a higher GWP refrigerant like R410A, promoting the use of a lower GWP refrigerant, the industry is able to reduce the emissions associated with the release of refrigerant substantially. And this is the spirit of the F-gas regs. Thank you.